hi everyone and welcome so in this video what we are going to cover is we are going to cover morbus gateway in the neuron so morbus gateway has many functionality okay and the main two functionality is to convert your morbus serial data to morbus tcp data and the second functionality is if you have any morbus device in the field which support only one connection and you want to provide that device data to multiple application then you can use morbus gateway in the neuron okay so you can see this image so neuron will create single connection to that morbus serial devices which only support single connection okay so neuron can collect the data from that devices and then after we will create morbus gateway in the neuron to deliver the same data to multiple application using multiple morbus tcp server okay so that is possible so uh, we will cover everything in the video step by step so you will get how the morbus gateway in the neuron will be helpful in your scenario so you can also use neuron modbus gateway to convert your modbus serial data to modbus tcp so we are going to cover that in this video also you can use modbus gateway to collect data from single modbus serial device and to provide the data to multiple uh, modbus tcp supported application that also we are going to see so right now here is my neuron node up and running i am going to create one module for this okay which is my modbus gateway and the module type we are going to select is Morbus Gateway. So once you scroll down, you will see the Morbus Gateway. So I have selected Morbus Gateway as a module type and then we will save. Now here you can see Morbus Gateway. We have some unsaved change. So we will navigate to Morbus Gateway. And here you can see we don't have anything. So we will first create new channel, which is our Morbus Serial to TCP channel. Okay. So what we will do is right now you can see on the screen that we have Modbus Slave software which is acting as a Modbus serial device for me. You can see it is connected on the COM port 1 with 9600 baud rate, data bits 8, parity none and the stop bit 1. So we are going to collect the data from this device and we will deliver the data of this device on the Modbus TCP protocol. Okay, and then after we are going to launch multiple instance of the Morbus client application and we will create multiple Morbus TCP server inside the neuron to deliver single Morbus serial device data to multiple application. So first of all, we have to connect neuron with this Morbus serial device. So in the connection type, I have to select serial connection because we are going to connect with Morbus serial device. Now the port name I am going to use is COM2 because uh, you can see here this Morbus Slave software is connected on the COM1 and the data of COM1 is redirected to the COM2 but I can only use or I can only connect to COM2 with one application. I cannot connect on the COM port via multiple application. Okay, so Neuron will take control of the COM2 and connect with this device. And then after Neuron will create its own Modbus TCP server to deliver the data to any other application. So that's it. We will change reconnect delay to 20,000 millisecond and the baud rate is 9600, data bit 8, parity 1, sorry, parity none and the stop bit 1. That's it. We will save it. So what we have done so far is we have uh, configured Neuron to connect with our Modbus serial devices. Now what we have to do is we have to create TCP server inside the Neuron to provide this Modbus serial device data to any other application. So the first part is done to communicate Neuron with Modbus serial device with the single connection. So no one can connect to this device. Now we will create Modbus TCP server inside the Neuron to provide this device data to multiple applications. So I am going to create my first Modbus TCP server for this serial connection. Okay, so it's first TCP server and uh, I'm going to use port 5001 and the network interface I'm going to use is my local host. And uh, that's it. We are going to create Modbus TCP server. That's why Modbus mode is TCP. The priority is one and the maximum connection is one. Okay, so once you create Morbus TCP server inside the neuron, specifically in the Morbus gateway, it will only allow one TCP connection. It will not allow multiple TCP connection. So once you create a Morbus TCP server in the neuron inside the Morbus gateway, your one application can only connect with the neuron. 
if you want to provide the data to another application then you have to create a second modbus tcp server if you want to provide the same data to third application then you have to create one more tcp server inside the modbus gateway so that's why we have created first modbus tcp server okay right now you can see the first modbus tcp server which will deliver the data to our application now all the data of this modbus serial device will be available on modbus tcp protocol on port number 5001 and the network interface 127.0.0.1 so i can open my mode scan software which is my modbus client software okay i'm going to select the holding register the length is 10 and in the connection i'm going to select the connection remote modbus tcp server port 5001 that's it you can see it is connected i can you know auto increment the value of first holding register or you can say the zeroth holding register and you can see the value is updating now if i launch the second instance of mode scan application and try to connect with the same device okay same modbus tcp server same modbus tcp server then it won't allow me so you can see here in the connection connect instead of com2 i'm going to use modbus tcp server 5001 you can see this connection got terminated and the data is available on this instance but that thing we don't want to do okay we want to provide data to multiple application so i can create another modbus tcp server here in the modbus gateway so i can create one more tcp server which is my second tcp server i'm going to use port 5002 the network interface I'm going to use is my local host and that's it. I can save it. Okay, it will restart the module. That's fine. I can connect it from here and here you can see it is connected. Now here in the connection, instead of 5001, I have to use 5002. And here you can see we have data in another instance of Morscan. So this Morscan instance and this Morscan instance will act as a two individual application. Okay. And both require separate Modbus TCP server in the neuron. You can see TCP server 1, TCP server 2 as I have explained here. So if you want to read the data of this Modbus serial device in one application, then you have to create separate Modbus TCP server in the neuron to deliver the data to this application and this application also wants to read the data of this modbus serial device then you have to create one more modbus tcp server inside the neuron to deliver the data to the second application and if you want to deliver the data to the third application then you have to create one more modbus tcp server inside the neuron in modbus gateway module okay so i hope this thing is clear so here in the connection you will specify the connection from where you are going to read the data okay so we are going to read the data from modbus serial devices so that's why I, I have set up the serial communication here with all serial parameter like com2 9600 baud rate everything and we are going to deliver this device data to two application so that's why i have created two tcp server okay so that's why this two more scan instance can read the same data at the same time if i open another instance of more scan okay so here in the connection, you will, uh, you will see, uh, just a moment. So once you select Modbus TCP server, it will ask you for the IP address and port number. We can use the same IP address, but 5001 port is used by this instance. 5002 is used by this instance. So we have to use 5003 because on the same port, on the same IP address, we are not able to connect with another instance. Okay, so I have to create another Morbus TCP server here so which is my third Morbus TCP server which has the port number 5003 and uh, IP address 127.0.0.1 and I can save it okay I will connect it again I will connect it again so they do have the data and for this one I have to use 5003 okay to have the data so 5003 holding register length 10 okay you can see now this instance is having the data of this device so this is how you have to use modbus gateway in the neuron 
to collect the data from one device and to provide the data to multiple application also we have successfully used modbus gateway in the neuron to convert modbus serial device data to modbus tcp data right now you can see everything is connected on the uh, local host ip address okay so that is possible so i hope the agenda for this video has been done that how to set up and use neuron modbus gateway to collect the data from one device and to deliver the data to multiple applications if you still have any question or concern inside it then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp also you can send me a mail or you can also ping me on linkedin or also you can comment on this video okay so i hope everything is clear i know this is little complex but uh, if you still have any question then you can always ping me okay so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you